Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to solve a linear non-homogeneous differential equation of the first order, but we also will have some initial conditions, some initial values to deal with. This will allow us to solve for the constant that is uh, generated when we do the integration. So the equation is y prime minus y equals e to the x. The general form of the equation looks like this, so this looks like it's already in the general form, and this is the general solution of the first order a non-homogeneous equation. Now notice that h is equal to the integral of f dx where f is the, the um, function in front of the y, in this case the function would be minus 1. So let's go ahead and write those down. So we know that f is equal to, uh, and remember that's a function of x, but in this case it's simply equal to minus 1, that's the function in front of the y. r, in this case, which is also a function of x, is equal to e to the x, h which is equal to the integral of f dx would be equal to the integral of minus 1 times dx which simply would be equal to minus x. So h in this case is minus x. So now let's go ahead and plug that into the general solution right here. So we have y is equal to e to the minus h and since h is minus x that would be e to the x times the integral of e to the h that would be e to the minus x times r, r is e to the x, and we need a dx plus a constant of integration. All right, now simplifying this expression, we get y, oh yeah, y is equal to e to the x times e to the minus x times e to the x, which is simply, uh, that would be e to the zero or one, so we get integral of dx plus a constant of integration, and that's fairly straightforward, so y is equal to e to the x, times x plus the constant of integration, so y is equal to, well, we can leave it like that. I guess we don't need to go any further than that. That is the solution to the differential equation. However, we've, given, we've been given some initial conditions. We know that when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So what this means is that y, when x is equal to 1, is equal to 0. So, what that means is we can plug in 0 for y, so that would be equal to e to the x when x is equal to 1, so e to the 1 times 1 plus c. And so we have 0 is equal to, that would be, um, well, we can divide both sides by e, so we can say 1 plus c, or c is equal to minus 1. So from this, we discover that c is equal to minus 1, so when we plug that back in here, the equation then becomes y is equal to e to the x, times x minus 1. And that would then be the solution to the differential equation with the initial condition that when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. And that's then the solution.